What we're actually doing is we're looking through the fourth wall, the wall that you don't see, the one that's missing within painting. I just find it's unpretentious, unassuming. It's got that kind of weird kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre quality of coming upon a place through some fields. I could al almost imagine this as a, a kind of an opening shot to a very strange film. The, the view is obstructed, so you're placed in this strange psychological space as a viewer, voyeur, kind of outside the action, watching from a distance and, and waiting for something strange to happen. It's somehow a, a conflation of lots of different bizarre source material, clearly referencing the production of a Fontana-type painting with an arm which looks as if it's come out of Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho via Philip Guston. I think it's one of the most inventive paintings I've, I've seen for a while. It's a very, very big painting, and in a way it's fascinating that the artist has not really what you call overpainted it. In a way she's sort of underpainted it. She did what she had to do to say what it was, or say what it is. And there's something massively pleasing about the very little work on the actual body. Mm -hmm.